welcome back to another adventure in the airline project. I'm Vixen Empire. And I'm sure that you guys are wondering why I'm doing this one again. And especially after the last episode now. With the date bug. Well, I actually really like this game. I been fascinated with the entire genre for a while so yeah I just I just like playing it yeah sometimes the bugs in that are a bit annoying but hey every game has a bug that drives somebody crazy and it just happens to be I found two in this game that irritate me but luckily in that uh, in the, the last video and that one of the devs said that they have fixed that bug in that in the next update may or may not be coming out soon. I don't know exact dates or anything and I don't really want to know the exact dates. Or at least not right now. It's like I would just rather them focus on doing their job rather than say hey it's gonna be out such and such time and something happens and it has to get pushed back. Because I know how that stuff works. Because I've been down that road in my own developing. But then again, I'm only a one person crew that doesn't know anything. And I do all my developing and out by watching YouTube videos. Alright, but anywho. I have I do have another window of the game open as well because I'm gonna do something that I have found a bug on but I don't know if it's just me or if other people have had the same issue and that I didn't really look through the forum post to find out all right so I'm going to start a new game, although in that I do want to show some of the scenarios that they have, but I'm not going to play one right now. And at the Golden Age of Aviation in Eastern Europe. And, okay, so it's a Czech airline starting in 1930. Hey, that's actually the year I'm going to actually start this playthrough in. And hopefully I can actually recreate the the bug I found when doing it. Okay, and Malaysia Airlines. Hey, those ones I actually have heard of. Yeah, no. This one I will never do. Just because I don't like that airline. Yeah, I've never liked Value Jet. Or Jet Blue as they renamed themselves. Or whatever they're called now, I don't know. It's just a personal vendetta, I guess, that I have against them. I think it's mostly because of, that, of how their planes are made. Alright, and Southwest Airline. Really? 
Southwest was created in 71? I thought they were a little older than that. Alright, fair enough. I don't really fly with them anyway. When I did fly. I pretty much just stick to American Airlines because of the cheapest to where I go anyway. When I did fly. And they usually have pretty good military discount. Alright, and the birth of a new giant. Hmm. Wiz Air. Okay, this one just sounds completely made up. I might actually look up this one later. To see in it. If it is, in fact, completely made up or whatever. Alright, well, back to the main menu. And start a new game. Change in the year. Alright, let's see if I can actually recreate this bug. Change it that. Start paused. And we will do all types. And, and everything else looks to be fine. Alright. Now the fun job. Yeah, I'm going to have an airline created in 1960 when the starting year is 1930. Yeah. Alright, anywho. I would like this to be better. But I'm not really sure enough if there is a logical way to do it. But luckily I know where Actually this is the one I'm gonna go to, I think. I believe this is the one that's in the Pensacola area. Cause I know there's a few airports down there. I just can't remember the name of them. Cause it's been 30 plus years since I've been down there. All right, and what color, which really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. That's what color chartreuse is. All right, I thought it was a reddish color, but hey, I've been wrong, and I probably am. Or maybe I'm thinking of magenta. I don't know. And we'll just keep it domestic. And I made a. A logo just for this one. There it is. And we are the Vixen Airlines. And uh, what do I want to that to be? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I really don't know if this means anything at, at all because I've never heard of it in real life so and I'm not really worried about finding out okay anywho 
Now, will the game crash with these settings? My money says yes. And that because I was playing on it with different settings before. And then about 90% of the time it will crash when these settings are changed from the last uh, load. Alright, and next. Okay, it didn't crash there. But you still have one more screen to go. And and it crashed. Luckily I have another window open. This time it should work as long as I keep the settings the same. This stuff, it really doesn't matter if it's changed or not, because I haven't actually seen it to cause a problem. Alright, well, everything's the same now, it looks like. And, yep, okay. This time it should work. Start and verdict is no. It's going to crash again. Apparently, it really does not like that starting year. All right, third window's a charm. I hope. Then, fine, you know what? You want to like that then I will start let's go with 1981 why not see if it does anything different Set the starting year to 81. And airline Sarasota. Yeah, you know what? I'll just leave it as that. Alright, me. Logo. Okay, next, start, and, okay, it actually liked 1981. So I don't know what the deal is with 1930, apparently game just really does not like that one. Um, I guess that's Mitchell. Okay, Hank. Bye, Hank. Because that's going to be your name now. Alright, and... Go to Fleet. Enable auto maintenance, yes. I actually don't know what kind of planes are available at this time. So, let's look at the list. Hmm. Boeing was around in 
the 80s. I did not know that. I didn't think they entered the market until the 90s, but... Okay. If you say so, George. What is this? That's an interesting plane. How much is it? Really? It's that cheap? Oh, but my money is a lot lower than it would be in starting this year by like a third. You know, I'm actually kind of liking the sound of this plane. Alright, I'm going to have to make a note of this one. Okay guys, you got to move over here. Real, just for a few minutes. Just so I can get my notepad out. Uh, Shanghai. Uh, and that is a Y10. Okay, so it's... Okay, Comac. See, I'm actually learning. Alright, and... I don't really need to remember... Ooh. Uh, that one might actually kill me. I don't think this airport has a long enough runway. Alright, before I can or even purchase that, I better make sure. Because I really don't remember any information about this airport. Oh, that's not the one in Pensacola. The neighbor? Yes. Luckily, it's only a few miles away. So, close enough. Alright, so, yep. That plane will not work at this airport. Even though it will work in this game... But I'm sure that'll probably be fixed in an update. Well, hmm. I'm gonna try to play nice and keep it within these parameters. So, under 2900. Fine. I will do this just to see if I can. I actually wanted to get that one too. Alright, what about the one right above it? Uh, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, I know I can't afford this one, but I want to see what it is. Okay, no image. And, hey, it will work. I just don't have the money for it, but hey. 
Lockheed. I hope you guys don't go out of business soon. Because I didn't see any, you on the list in the later years, so. Wow. That's a blast from the past. Well, duh, it is 81. Okay, now. This plane, I believe, will work with the air runway. Yes, it will. Wow. I'm actually kind of surprised it actually says the Soviet Union. figured it would have said Russia. Alright, so that one is a strong possible. <coughs> Ow. Alright. But what about the McDonnell Douglas? Now, the range is not that great. The runway works. I think it actually works for either runway I have at that airport. Cruising speed's pretty good. Seating capacity is really good. Alright, so this one will work as well. But how much is it? Uh, between 12 and 14. So I have 30. I will actually buy both of these. Yeah, I'll buy both of these. And... I'll do the, let's see, that was 18, well, we'll just say 19, well, might as well just make it an even, t well, never mind, I won't say that one, because, Try this one. I don't think I have enough money. But. Oh, I do have enough money. Probably just barely. But, okay. Now. Now I need. Wrong one. This one. Demand. Oh, I was sitting there waiting on the thing to load up, but it was already there. Okay, so Phoenix. No, I don't want to go to Phoenix. Not right now, anyway. All right, Chicago here. Sure, why not? Houston. You know what? Why not? And... I 
I would do the Atlanta. But I don't think that route would be very profitable. So I think I will just go with DFW for now. Three planes, three lines. All right, now let's actually look at ordering, but I'm not actually going to order anything. I just wanted to see what was available. And that's an odd looking plane. And all of that does not work to what I'm going for. And what about this one? Okay. That would actually be an okay 15 million though. Let's see, can I find it? Oh yeah, there is one here. Wow. Well, son of a monkey's uncle. There is actually some planes in that that are decent sized. and not overly outrageous. I guess it's a good thing in that than doing that RAI and converting it over to a cargo, which happens to be one of the reasons why the save game wouldn't reload. Because apparently there's a bug there. But which is supposed to be fixed net in the next update. Which I will probably break it. Because for some reason I end up finding weird bugs. But I think that actually kind of helps it the dev team as well and that random actions and that breaking games but hey it's all gravy I mean I, I have fun doing it and I tried play it legit as possible but the converting that RAI into a cargo plane and that pretty much only spending like 30 million well under 30 million and that to get a 220.8 ton cargo line you can't pass that up even if you know it's going to break the game. Unless you just continue to play it until the date bug. But hey. I will worry about that one when that time comes. In fact, I still think I might be able to get a bug. Because I'm not sure if it was fixed in this version or if they were fixing it for the next version and that was um, I 
some of the classes, um, seating classes and that being bugged. I've never come across it, so I don't know. It might have been fixed in that before this version of the game. But it might have been introduced in this version. I don't know. Haven't seen it, so I don't even know if it's a legit thing. Okay, so where am I going first? Well, obviously O'Hare. And I think I will do the Houston line. And instead of completely customizing it like I've been doing, I'm going to just let the game decide in it when they're going to fly there. And we will do what happened to route or plane one. All right, maybe somebody else bought a plane. Don't know. Hey, which one's missing? Economy, business, first class. Oh, yes, yeah, so, okay. There's that fourth one. Uh, what was it called? I don't know. I don't remember what it was called. But really, in that, I could actually do without uh, the middle class here. <coughs> but hey, I'll, I'll go with it. Because who knows, maybe. Oh, yeah, there's no Wi Fi. That's right, because Wi-Fi wasn't around in the 80s. I should remember this, because I grew up in the 80s. In fact, I don't. I don't actually remember when the 80s... Or when... Wi-Fi came about because I actually didn't get Wi-Fi until what about 2009 no it was a little bit before that 2000 Probably about 2006 is when I got Wi-Fi for the first time. I didn't really need it. I always had a wired connection. In fact, it actually works better than Wi-Fi anyway. Okay, well... Hopefully, you will make more than just one round trip. I am expecting at least three round trips. But I know you won't really start doing your runs and that until like what about eight o'clock in the morning or something maybe ten and then you'll quit about what about four or five in the afternoon 
but I'm going to let you control it. Even though I could be me and just have a plane running all day long. Just so I can make some more money off of you. Even though I think actuality I'd be losing money, but eh, I just I don't care. Really the thing is as long as you make money, I'm happy. And as long as this total keeps going up. Alright, well, save and create another route. Yes, or okay. And we'll do Houston. And you will be the number three. I think those numbers are actually lower. Oh yeah, they are lower. Shorter distance. Alright, save and create another. And the final one to DFW. The McDonnell Douglas. Um... What? Oh, okay, it's, it's slightly higher. Never mind. I thought I saw the numbers go down. But I did not. I saw them go up. And what the hell just happened? Three and four are... wrong okay all right let's look at wow you actually start at nine o'clock in the morning all right And you stop at seven ish. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to edit three and four. Because for some reason. All right, where was three actually? Three was to Houston. Sarasota to Houston. And it was nine o'clock in the morning that it started. I'm gonna try to keep it within the time range that the game would choose and I think the time frame is good to what they would choose for it and for that was to DFW at nine o'clock in the morning. Wow, that one's almost Okay. So fine. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't type the numbers in. And 
save changes yes and now you are looking right let's get these three going now is there anything I don't remember. Um, okay, that was a two class. Okay, that was Donald Douglas. Okay. This is a two class. Actually, let's see if it actually is broken up into two classes. It is not. Okay, can I do it? No, I'm... I don't... I want okay I know how to right. uh oh did I break it yes I did oops I broke the game this time on accident Well, that was a little odd. All right, let's see if I can actually replicate what I was doing. And this time without actually killing the game. Because I would actually like to play Preferably with it. Out accidentally doing something I shouldn't do. So I just have to remember. To not try to edit. The plain information the way I did it. Alright. Start and start game and we're back to this. Good. Okay. Airline market. Oop. Airline market. Buy. And Oh yes, I cannot do this one because of that. Okay, I have to stay under the 29. Ooh. All right. I think I actually kind of like this um, one better. Buy. Buy. I will try to buy all of them. Buy. Um, I won't be able to buy all of them. Alright, back to this list. So there's two more left. Actually, can I do it alone? I 
can. Uh, let's do 46 million for five years. I might be able, I should be able to pay that off. Okay, now back to the plane and buy these two I know I kind of cheesed it a little bit but that's fine it, it actually gives me a little bit of um idea of what the game can and cannot handle. Alright. Oh, you're a new person. Tony Pollock. Well, sorry Tony Pollock. I'm going to rename you George. Yeah, I'll, I'll even forget that one. But luckily I don't have to worry about it because I will not be reading very m much of the emails anyway. Uh, oh yeah. We want demand. And you know what? Just because Atlanta, okay, and Charlotte, why not? DFW. Sure. Houston. Why not? My wife would be okay with that one. JFK. Wow, I almost busted out with um, song lyrics on that one. And O'Hare. Why, thank you. And did I go overboard? Maybe. But do I care? Not a bit. Okay, I have five planes and two. Wow, I actually have exactly right. Cool, dude. Now that I've done that, I think I figured out how I have to do this for it to work right. Do it once at two. Buy a bowl and set all this crap up. And sorry, economy class, you're not getting magazines or newspapers. Business class, you will get newspapers, but you will not get magazines. And a buyable meal, buyable drinks, and buyable alcohol. Yeah, I'm being a little um, greedy with this, I guess. But you, these really don't make 
a whole lot of money regardless and had only a couple thousand a month or something if you're lucky I think the most I've actually seen me get me get yeah that sounds so educated uh, but anyway the most I think I've ever gotten from this stuff well other than the ticket prices and it was like maybe 50,000 a month And as I could only imagine back in 81, those prices would be maybe 500 bucks. Then again, I didn't fly back in the 80s, so I don't know. Guess we'll find out eventually. <coughs> Man. That cough is driving me nuts. Alright, we'll save this one. Alright, so that plane is ready to go. Now, create route. Oh, crap. Alright, that was the O'Hare. Now, the Atlanta. I hope this works. I don't know if it will. It should, but it might not. I don't know if something about these tickers. Uh, toggle. Whatever. Kind of broken a little bit I I even had that problem with it when I was making games and I could never figure out how to get it to work the way it was intended to work and then who knows maybe they're having the same issue I'm having or I had or they just don't even know about it yet. Don't know. I will have to look on the forums and that and in their bug reports and see if I can find anything about it. And we'll save this one. No, it did not work. Alright, let now let's try that. Alright, I think I might have figured out a way around it. Let's see. Save and nope. That didn't f solve that either. Hmm. So it works on one, but the rest of them get screwed. Alright. Fair enough for now. And save and create. And Houston, the last one. All right, so three is Atlanta. Oh yeah, I can do it this way. Is 
three. Why? I'm not even. I'm not even bothering trying to figure out why the game chooses what it chooses. Uh, we'll do every day. Add all year. And we'll go with noon 30. That should be right about right. All year. And yeah, that, that should be good enough. Oop, wrong one. on there we go and what was the hour four o'clock in the afternoon that yeah. all right that almost perfect to the time frame and that I think the game uses when it does it itself I could have sworn it started at 8 o'clock. But that one started at 9, so maybe it was 9 and not 8. Not like it matters that much. And I think this was the Charlotte. We'll do 9 as well. Ooh, this one's a little bit longer flight. And... Um... I think I'm gonna just stick with just those two. I think in theory I could get away with one more. Without killing the... Um, I better make sure I save that. The field rate, but... Okay, I've done Chicago. I've done Atlanta. I've done Charlotte. So, was it Houston that was the next one? All right, we want five. What is five? Five is DFW, okay. And DFW. We'll do nine o'clock, like it. Whoa, okay, this one's gonna be a odd, okay. Save. Yes, okay. Well, DFW line is ready to go. And now the last one. To Houston. Nine o'clock in the morning. All year. And... Do I want to just... I think I'm going to just do the 14 and let it have a little bit of layover. Because, yeah, that, it wouldn't have mattered in that if I put it right on the back end. There wasn't enough time to throw another 
flight in it if I want to try to keep it within the game's idea of round trips and whatnot. Although, eh, who cares? This could be good, it could be bad, it could be somewhere in the be in between, I don't know. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. I'm not going to worry about the job market. I thought I had 20 competitors. I only have three. Uh, maybe a competitor will pop up down the road. I'm actually kind of surprised that there is a stock kind of set up here. I don't, I don't actually know if there was a stock market kind of thing back then. I really don't understand why it's even a thing now. But hey, people have their reasons for everything. Uh, do I want to do any news or advertisements? Uh, not really because it really doesn't help at all. Maybe just a couple percent at most. So, nah, I don't think I'm going to do it. Discounts, um... Yeah, kind of funny in that it has Wi-Fi, but there's no Wi-Fi at this time. Uh, don't want to give any discounts. Uh, you know what? Why not? Uh, I'll be nice this time around. We'll do ten percent. Government, yeah, no, government's gonna pay full price. Military, yeah, I'll give the military a discount. A pretty sizable one. Too bad I can't go negative and make the government pay more. That'd be completely fitting. pretty much showing it that hey you keep screwing us over so guess what we're gonna screw you over in return until you start fixing yourself you're paying more and I probably wouldn't sit too well and that probably just got me banned from this episode airing in a few countries. <laughs> Frequent flyer program. Sure, why not? In-flight magazine. Sure, why not? Newspaper service. Yeah, okay. Uh, automated booking system. Okay. Multi-access booking system. Okay. Basic maintenance. Alright. Large maintenance. Okay. No more. But I want more. I really don't know what 
ounce would be here to make it even worthy. I don't know. Um, hmm. What else could go there? Well, brain, you can't think of anything. Well, guess what? Neither can I. So, I guess that's fine. Now, oh man, I'm already at an hour, but I've kind of done the startup twice now, so there's always that. Okay, we'll save this as, and hopefully it actually saves it. It should. I don't think I've ever come in to it not saving it before, so. Then again, I also didn't really pay attention to it before, if it did or not. Because I usually just kept continue to play until I reach the date bug. Alright, now what else am I going to do before I call it a calendar? Wow. I didn't even know this was here. I saw the thing there before, but I never actually clicked it. At least I don't remember clicking it before, so that's kind of actually kind of cool. Not really sure what all it would be used for, except for showing like the deadlines and stuff, but. Maybe there's a purpose for it later on. Or something, I don't know. Find out one way or another. Alright, now I guess I'll save the game. And We'll just save it at the year. And OK. It should save. It did save. Hopefully. I don't think I've ever had it not save right. Except for with the converting airline thing. And hopefully, this will get implemented in one of the future updates. So, we'll see if that gets put in. It's not like it's that big of a deal. No, but if it doesn't, I would at least like an option to go to, back to the main menu. Rather than having to exit the game and then loading the game back up, just to get back to the main menu. That's just a little something to think about. And I was actually going to take him say a few ideas I had well stuff that I would like to see put in but I I don't think I'm gonna do it for this one I might actually talk about it a little bit in the next episode. 
guess I'll just have to find out what my brain decides to spit out. Okay, so anywho, all of that is ready to go. So I guess I'm going to end this one off here. And then I will immediately start on the next episode. Which I will try to keep it under an hour. But I can't promise anything because I tend to forget to look at the timer. So hopefully see you guys next time.